Hey everyone, Jason from Grip Tape here. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of really interesting notes that allow you to integrate images into your workflows a little bit more effectively. Uh, one of those is the image description node, which will get information about an image. And the other is load image from URL, which makes it really easy to pull images to be able to query them. In this case, you could see I've grabbed a beautiful image here of a couple of alpacas from New Zealand. This is an image by Josiah Farrow, posted on Pexels and available right there. Uh, and then I'm basically grabbing that from the URL. I bring it into Comfy. I then run an image description and I can display particular text around it. So let's take a look at how to set this up from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen. And let's grab our first image to throw into the canvas. I was scrolling through my Facebook feed and I saw an image that I thought might work really well. This is an image of myself and my friend Bay when we were working on the Lord of the Rings trilogy back a long, long, long time ago. So I thought, why don't I grab that image? I think this is after a uh, extreme all-nighter. We were very, very, very sleepy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and copy this image address, come back over to Comfy UI, and let's do add node grip tape images Grip tape load image from URL. We will go ahead and paste that in there. Then let's just display the image. So type in display, grip tape display image. Boop. And there we go. We have our image of uh, me and Bay. All right, let's go ahead and get a description of this image. So again, right mouse button, add node, grip tape, images, grip tape run image description. So We'll go ahead and plug this in and we'll just say, let's just start by default and see what we get. Take the output, display the text and see what we have. While this is running, I'm just going to reorganize my view here a little bit. So a little bit easier to fit everything in on the same page. Uh, and it says, I do not know who these individuals are, which is great. We are not famous in any way, shape, or form. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more information about the type of description we want. So please describe the expressions of these people. Include their clothing, hair, eye color, and general demeanor. Okay, that gives us a much better result. Let's take a look and see what it says here. The people in the photo exhibit friendly and playful expressions. The person on the left. And we are indefinitely uh, enjoying the moment, likely sharing a lighthearted or humorous interaction. Yes, because we've been up all night working very, very hard. So that is a really nice way of being able to describe an image. Let's go ahead and maybe get another image in here and, and see how we can pull out multiple descriptions at the same time. So this time I'm going to just load one from disk. So if I type load image, you will see the default load image. I can bring that in and then I'm just going to drag a file right on here. So I've got this image of a, a pastoral view with a couple of dogs. Let's go ahead and get a couple of descriptions for this. So again, I go to start typing describe and I can grab that grip tape run image description. We'll plop that in here. We'll get the output, display the text. Right like that. And uh, let's go ahead and in this case, let's describe the lighting and see what we have. There we go. The lighting appears to be that of golden hour. That's great. Let's also go ahead and get another description here. In this case, we're going to describe the composition and we'll do another one where we describe the um, animals. So now we've got three different image descriptions happening. If we run all of those, we get all three results, uh, resulting in a description of the composition, the animals, the lighting, etc. This is really useful uh, when trying to really clarify what it is that you want from the image. You can pull out very, very specific information, including like expression, the, the lens, all that kind of stuff. And one of the things that you may notice when you have something like this inside Comfy UI, when you queue the prompt, it will execute these nodes one at a time which if you have a lot of image description nodes, that can take quite a bit of time. Let's just see how long it takes to do it for this one. So I'm just gonna delete these nodes real quick. Well, Q, it's gonna give me an error because I have no images connected. Let's reconnect each of these and let's see how long it takes. To All right, that took a total of 26 
26.05 seconds. 26.05. All right, so to run all of those together, 26.05 seconds. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it down below. I want to show you another node that's available that can speed this up tremendously. If you right mouse button, go to add node, go to grip tape, go to images, you'll see there is a parallel image description node. What that will do, if we take the images here, is that will basically run a bunch of image descriptions all at the exact same time and then give you the output. And what it does is it uses grip tape's workflow structure. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, workflow structure basically allows you to run a bunch of tasks all at the same time. You essentially say, here's my start task, here are all of my children tasks, run, and then when you're done, finish and give me an output. It's a part of the grip tape framework. It's super, super powerful, and there's a bunch of classes on it. If you go to uh, grip, tape, grip Tape Trade School and go to the courses, you can see here there's a Compare Movies Workflow course, which actually shows you how to set this up using the grip tape framework. Really, really powerful. That's essentially what's happening here. So let me show you how we do this. So we're going to take the exact same commands here. So describe the lighting, describe the composition, and describe the animals. So every new line in here is going to basically be another task, just like it is here. It'll be another image description task, but it will run in parallel. So the last one took 26 seconds to run for these three. Let's see how long this one takes. That one took 18 seconds. So just about 10 seconds off. So it's a bit faster than having to do them all individually. And especially if you start adding a lot more. All right, in this case, I added two more image descriptions and running this one took 42.71 seconds. Let's add those two same descriptions here. Describe the lens and describe the emotion. And that one took 20 seconds. So you can see barely any more, 20.73 seconds, uh, versus quite a bit more, so 42 seconds. So you can see if you're gonna be doing a lot of image descriptions, grabbing the parallel image description and using that is going to save you a bunch of time. All right, that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for more.